The pandemic affected everyone in the world and artists are no exception. Here at Duane Reed Gallery, we have two returning artists whose bodies of work on display matured through that period of time during the pandemic. We have mixed media artist Leslie Richmond and oil painter Victor Wong. Leslie Richmond's work has a strong emphasis on nature and our relationship with it. Well, I've been studying trees and their structure for actually many years. And I suppose during the pandemic, I felt the need because you're inside a lot, looking outside at the trees. I just wanted to stay sort of fascinated by the tree structures. Actually, I was at my studio window. I'm right up in the middle of the tree. Instead of looking at the trees as more of a picture on the horizon or an image, just want to be amongst them a little bit more and feel a little bit more of the power of the tree like you're lying on the ground looking up at the sky, or just really amongst it. So I just wanted to keep it more dramatic and simple, and you know, think about the power of nature rather than the fact that it's just beautiful and pretty. So it was kind of good for me just to back off and try and let the form speak, and it's a whole different feeling. I just wanted to make it more present and more powerful, and not to fuss so much sometimes. I noticed with my series, they started off fairly spontaneous, and then I, because I, I really like process and detail, I've worked on them, so they've become quite complex. They're actually like puzzles, it's interesting. They all kind of slot together, and you could be in any angle, you could be under them, or above them, or in them. It's kind of enjoyed working <laughs> with them this time. As you move into the second gallery, you will see the large uh, dramatic oil paintings of Victor Wong, whose work is heavily textured. This is my new body of works, and people can see my new directions. Especially before I use more portraiture as expressive vehicle. Right now, I'm moving towards to more narrative paintings. I continue to use sunflowers. I'm using human figure for human conditions and by using the expression to convey the mood. But also I start to use more new references, like borrow old masterpieces for certain suggestions. For example, that piece is called The Girl in Yellow under Night Watch. I borrow Rembrandt's uh, Night Watch imagery. The basing upon those my new experiences from pandemic, because what I find the pandemic really has big impact to human life condition, especially for young generation. For example, my granddaughter was born in 2020, and then she speaks very late because she could not interact with other children and could not participate in more activities because of the pandemic. And then that's really caused her a lot. So, in that experiences, I try to express the, how pandemic really affect human life. And then the night watch from Rembrandt expressed the idea, protection, and the other side of painting. And then I try to create more chaos and how uh, symbolize the COVID-19, like monster, make people disability, and then uh, make society so chaotic. So. I think it's very powerful pieces. I invite viewers to stop by to see it. We are very happy to have these two artists back at the gallery and to showcase how their work has evolved over the past several years. Both exhibitions are on view until July 1st, and for more information, you can visit DwayneReedGallery.com.